What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a brief look at the new Alter Geist. They got a few new tools up their sleeves. They even got a really cool boss monster uh, that is going to be a Link 4. So starting right off, I want to go over the effects first of these cards because in the replay what happens is sometimes there's a glitch and basically the cards don't even have their effects in terms of like, listing it. Obviously the effects still work, it's just a uh, EDO Pro thing. Anyways, uh, starting right off in terms of some of the newer monsters, we have Maul Wisp. So if it's added to your hand except by drawing it you can just special summon it and if it's normal or special you get to target an altergeist monster graveyard and special summon in defense position but it can't activate its effects this turn uh, so you can kind of go uh, for it maybe in a combo where you're going to set up for the following turn or maybe during like your opponent's turn towards like the end of like your turn and then it lingers up on the board they can use it later uh next up we have the um I was about to say Penetrator. The author guys, Perrin Traitor is the name. But anyways, it can attack directly. It's got 500 attack. But um, nonetheless, uh, when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you get to draw one card. And if it's sent to the, from the field to the graveyard, you need to send an author guys card from your hand, deck, or face up on the field to the graveyard except for itself. So you can actually recycle the card that you uh, go for with this. And then on top of that, they have a new trap card called the Revitalization, which lets you target an author guys link monster graveyard. You special summon it, and then you can banish this card from your graveyard and then it immediately at this effect resolves normal summon another altergeist monster um, and then you can only use uh, the effect of it uh, each once per turn and only once that turn so uh, the brand new boss monster which you guys are going to see gameplay of is Admina so Adminia has the summon requirements of two plus Altergeist monsters, uh, and its effect is that if this card is Link Summon, you get to set an Altergeist trap directly from your deck, which is pretty dang good. And then once while face up on the field during your main phase, you get to send one card you control to the graveyard and then target an effect monster your opponent controls and take control of that target. And if you do, it is treated as an Altergeist monster. Uh, and then you can only use each of the following effect of it once per turn. But being able to, add, remember, that is a quick effect, uh, being able to snatch, steal, an uh, effect monster, I think it's really good. And it doesn't, like, negate their effects at all, so you're going to be able to use it. Anyways, let's go ahead and hop right into the uh, gameplay over here. You guys can see how good uh, the new Alter Geist actually are, uh, courtesy of this guy player over here. So we got the revitalization. Again, when I mouse over it, it won't show the effect. That's why I decided to start off the video by going over the effects so you guys can kind of see how it works. So this guy is playing some variant of fusion so we've got uh, multifigure coming out multifigure gonna activate that effect bring out the mellow seek and then he activates poly goes for the lu bellion and we're gonna see a pop of that card and he's also going to imperm but then he hits the imperm it's a lot of combos going on means alter guys that they are going to be chaining for days and that is one area where they actually kind of have a weakness which you're about to see he goes ahead and makes the dusk dragon He's going to go get some searches. He's going to get some searches as well. Molo was activating its effect. Remember, when you uh, search out this card, you just get to special summon it, and then you get to go for a card in your uh, graveyard. So he's going to go ahead and target the graveyard. Now, remember, there is a downside with that. Um, you're not going to be able to activate its effect this turn. So there's downside. So now he makes the pro skin in. Attack over it. Take some extra damage because that's what this thing does. And he's going to be able to set. He's got the cross out designator and he's got branded in red. So we'll see how this plays out. He goes for Marionetter. Going to be setting that manifestation. It goes right into Hextia. Going to get that effect of the uh, Mellow Seek. So he's, remember the effect that he brought it out with the uh, Maul Wisp. Uh, it was negated uh, until the end of the turn. And the next turn, he's able to recycle the card. He goes for Revitalization, which lets you bring out another Link Monster. Remember, this lets you target Altergeist Link Monster Graveyard and you special summon it. And then you can also banish it and then. Um, go for additional summon but this allows you to go into the newer uh, link monster a lot easier here so now we're going to go ahead and see the multi faker come out multi faker probably one of the best cards in alter guys special summoning the hook and then he's going to go and bust out the brand new card remember this card has a effect where we're going to be able to quick effect snatch steal he's going to activate that effect in response to it so he's going to go and special summon a monster and he's going to go snatch steal and then he's going to be able to activate the effect and target another fusion. And he, it's, it's crazy how this duel played out because he activated the effect to go bring out another card. He took his card and he's going to bring out another card <laughs> as well. So it was really, really back and forth over here uh, in terms of what was going on. I mean, it's really fast. Uh, and it really allows Altergeist, as you guys can see, to follow up OTK because it's generally going to be a little bit slower of a deck. But with the addition of Adminia, it's going to be a little bit faster. But there's so many effects that are activated uh, in this duel. And I want to go and show you guys uh, duel number two because... Uh, uh, depending on who goes first, it definitely can matter. I mean, going first is still kind of OP in Yu-Gi-Oh! From most players' perspectives, and 
And that's because, you know, you can establish your board. Had this player went first, the Altergeist player, would he have won? I think that he'd have a, uh, maybe a better chance cap up. But nonetheless, we've got Lava Golem over here for the following turn. So let's see how this actually plays out. He actually makes uh, Masquerade and he makes another one. This is where all the guys kind of have some problems as they are a deck that is heavy in the uh, activating multiple, multiple effects. So he's going to go ahead and set to pass. And the thing is, is that this masquerade well double masquerade every single time he does really anything he's gonna have to pay 600 life points per so that's 1200 per and the amount of effects that you're activating here he really needs to get rid of these cards so multi-figure coming out gonna be able to get a another altergeist and he goes for silk which is the one where you're able to bounce back and he may want to try to do that pretty soon because he's only got 2,000 life points left his opponent finally takes the thousand uh, burn damage because that was all activated and he's just like yo i can't really do anything if i activate any like he can literally only activate two effects can he win without activating effects the answer is really no but uh, i thought it was a good showcase of like you know other guys it is definitely a slower deck but it has definitely improved i mean had he not had masquerade if it was like really anything else i think he actually had a decent chance at maybe coming back with this board because he's able to bounce back and keep on going for plays with some of the newer support i'll give you guys the deck profile real quick so i showed you guys how like it can definitely take a dub and in terms of taking l there's a lot of different decks that would just simply lose to masquerade and that is because you don't have that many room uh for hand traps because the deck is so heavily based on having just traps in general in order for you to activate a lot of the different effects it's just kind of the natural um way that this deck kind of works because some decks you just need to play a lot of spells and this one well you got to play a lot of traps in order for the deck to function so maybe if you happen to have like a uh, few extra hand trap whether that is ghost ogre or valor uh, that might have helped them out but i'll leave the uh one click download as well in the discord if you guys want to download it but let me know what you think of the new altar guys i think it's a lot faster obviously he's playing a bit where he he could lock out his opponent so maybe dropping things like secret village could be another option uh for this player as uh again i think being able to have access to more hand traps is just key in yugi especially if you happen to be going second otherwise yeah yeah a drone lock's gotten a lot more popular same thing with dimension a shifter so you can consider Consider those options but if you do go for a secret village that's an automatic win against a lot of fusion decks anyways if you guys enjoyed the video drop a like on it if you're new here and you do want to see more videos in the future subscribe to the bell and shout out to this guy player uh for his build i think that he i mean he definitely knew how to play the deck i mean he definitely popped off in the very first game anyways catch you guys in the next video have a good one oh peace